Hey love, Jay here with a monthly reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are all here, welcome back to the community. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to get started with your spiritual insights. We'll hop into your pre-spread pre -spread I have here. Get your, clear, your tarot cards out and clarify each of those. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm feeling, okay? You may find yourself this month um, being impatient. So Spirit is asking you to be easy with yourself, be gentle with yourself, and be kind to yourself. And also make sure you, that you're kind to the others that are around you as well, okay? Because you may begin to feel out of sorts in, in, with other people if you're feeling like that internally, okay? Some of you may be playing around, okay? It was like playing around, so I don't know what that's gonna, that means for you. And I'm not going to go there with you today, Cancer, okay? With the playing around situation, if you know what I mean, okay? So take it however it fits for you. Um, but I'm getting a really giddy vibe from you. So and I, I feel like this is a, a well-deserved opportunity for you to feel free and peaceful and happy within your spirit. To so have fun, Cancer, that's most important because some of you have been through some things lately, okay? Um, someone is trying to, I'm hearing, be around you or come around in some way. And I feel that it may be someone that you may not particularly want in your energy. Or this can mean there's someone stuck in your energy. Okay, so someone could be stuck in your org field. So this would be a good opportunity for you this month to maybe work with a shaman or energy healer to extract, okay, or clear um, not necessarily cut cords. You have to find a practitioner that is very specific about cord cutting because it may not be that time to cut the cord, but you do need energy cleared out of your auric field, okay? Um, it feels like this um, this person, okay, it could be a thing for some of you as, as well, but this person is either trying to come around you, they're trying to call you, they may even be thinking of you often, so maybe popping up in your dreams or your, you know, those random thoughts that you may be having out of the blue, um, they could be coming up for you often. Um, but whoever this person is, they feel like they have some unfinished business with you, which is very interesting. It's a very interesting message that I'm getting right now, okay? Um, Cancer, all you want is peace right now, and you don't have time to deal with people in their shenanigans, and that's totally fair. You may be um, this much changing jobs, getting a job for some of you, maybe getting promoted or receiving some sort of financial opportunity that that you have been feeling like you've been lacking lately. And for some of you, um, it was um, because someone that was in your presence in your energy was blocking your blessings, so to speak. Um, and so I feel like now this is your opportunity to elevate, okay? So those are your spiritual insights. Your universal message is you were born with that it quality. And this card reads, do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? Re persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed. And if still they, they, that person, whoever that is, don't notice your good looks, your strength, and your, and your sachet, could you feel more sorry for them? Okay, <laughs> the universe. So you were born with the it quality, that it factor. Okay, and I feel like some of you are now jumping into an energy of actually feeling that after coming out of the trenches. Your angel number, if you're seeing this number often, or if you are wondering what 222 means, you can also let us know what 222 means for you in the comment section below. But this is about alignment. So this is giving you confirmation. If you're seeing this number often, this is about connections, about you building friendships or just friendships that you may need to let go of. This is about romantic relationships, your family ties, finding balance, again, alignment, which we've already talked about already. Life choices, compromise, commitment, and trust. Okay, so it feels like a lot of things are revolved around relationship and most importantly, the relationship with yourself. How do you move forward towards your life's true calling? Do what makes you happy. Happiness is most important for you guys here. 222 is, is confirming that. Your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. 
follow your interests if it's piqued by something. Following these routes will help you discover your life's purpose. Okay, so 222 is your angel number for the month. We've also pulled the attraction card. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. With, I feel like this goes hand in hand with confidence. You, so for some of you who have been feeling a lack thereof, lack of esteem and confidence, you may be feeling something different now. I know we spoke about in our last reading that some of you are have met someone new. There's someone that sort of makes you giddy that it's, you know, is different from a, a previous relationship. I do feel like there's some sort of attraction that you have with someone. There may be something romantic that you're beginning, but I'm also feeling to take your time with this as well, okay? But in that, with that being said, also enjoy yourself. Have fun, okay? Because the next card is the break card, break time. Time apart will be beneficial to this connection. And for some of you, this has something to do with someone from the past taking a break from that person, cutting off communication with them as well. Also making sure that you're getting your energy cleansed as well. I do offer remote energy clearings as well. So if you're needing, you feel this person's energy is sort of lingering around you, this is an opportunity to let that go. Take a step back, um, take a break. Some of you are needing to write about this. I'm hearing some of you are singers as well. You may need to sing about some of the heartbreak you've been through. But this is an opportunity for you to grow outside of whoever has been blocking your space, cramping your style. Okay, taking a break from them is going to offer you an opportunity to grow in some sort of way. So you're needing this time to yourself. And again, like I said, the most important relationship is that relationship with yourself. Okay. Keep in mind, too, that there is going to be a fiery cl climax, full moon in Aries energy. Okay, I know we just passed that. We just had a full moon in Taurus, which I also feel like that's kind of fiery as well, too, although Taurus is an earth sign. So there's a fiery climax that is definitely coming up for you here, Cancer. Let's hop into your tarot, and then we will see what um, will clarify each of those get into the energy for you. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Oh, what's going on here? All right. We would like the most highest messages knowing that we seek the truth even if the truth is outside of Cancer's current paradigm. We ask for clear and concise messages to be delivered here today on behalf of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. We have the Seven of Wands coming out. We have the Star. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. The Justice. We have the Strength card. And we have the Tower. Okay. We could really not the not ending on the Tower. Come on. All right. So we'll see what's what's uh, coming up for you here, um, Cancer. All right. Because we're starting out with your most recent energy. That Seven of Swords. You tricky mother sucker. Like, Okay, this, there's somebody, okay, somebody trying to be sneaky, trying to get away with something, could be your energy or someone else that you're dealing with, this could be um, an Aquarius that some of you are dealing with, this could even show up as a Gemini for you as well, a Gemini or a Libra, but Aquarius energy here, so someone is being trying, trying to get away with something, being cunning, conniving in some sort of way, um, this could even be energy of betrayal and backstabbing for some of you, but this ha may have something to do with whoever that recent person was that some of you have been dealing with. You may have been finding yourself a little isolated because you've been wanting to just stay away from people, and I totally get that. I'm a Pisces energy, you know, that water sign energy, we're super intuitive, and some of you are not wanting to share your energy with other people just because you've come out of something and it feels like your energy has been sucked out of you, <laughs> so to speak, and so it feels like you're just sort of wanting to retreat and you're just tired of people's BS. So some of you may be in this position where you're feeling like you're an outcast because maybe you've, you know, you've gotten rid of friendships, you've walked away from people, or people have walked away from you, and you're feeling like 
you're alone in this. It definitely is just a phase, okay? And some of you have just went through that. Some of you probably are still going through the motions of that as well. We have the Six of Cups here. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like that Seven of Swords energy feels like something old, like from the past. Could have been a person. Um, could have been a person that uh, most recently walked away from you. So somebody that I feel like you may have had history with. This could even be them or you walking away, but someone that you had history with, possibly an, uh, an earth sign. Some of you could have been dealing with the air or water sign, so it doesn't matter at this point. But I definitely feel like there was uh, a lot of love at one point, and then I feel like there's like something has transpired where you're walking away. And I feel like someone's taking has taken something from you most recently, whether that is heartbreak, they've taken you for granted, whatever it is, I feel like they, they've left you, <laughs> they left you with just memories, and some of those memories are not the greatest memories, um, and so, you you know, you're, you're trying to move on from that, okay, as you're moving on into the overall energy, which I like is the star, so you're moving Aquarius energy here, moving on to something bigger and better, and really taking care of yourself. I feel for you, Cancer, that some of you have really poured into a relationship most recently. Um, and I feel like now you're in this place where you're trying to pour into yourself because I feel like an, an energy of depletion. And this is an, an opportunity for you, like I said, in your spiritual insights, for you to feel peaceful and feel happy. And um, I'm even hungry. <laughs> some of you are hungry for something, okay? That could be food, but I feel like you're just hungry for knowledge and hungry to fulfill your goals and hungry for um, building in some sort of way, okay? So this star energy, I feel like, you're coming into this energy where you're hopeful about life and what life is going to be bringing to you as you step into this energy of self-love and self-care. So you're feeling a little bit more inspired. I feel like some of you have been feeling blocked most recently, and this could have been going on for a very long time, depending on the relationship that you were in, because I do feel like very strongly some of you are dealing with someone that was sort of dimming your light in a way. And it's not to blame the other person. It was a choice to, for you to stay in that. I'm also getting extremely hot right now too. But um, I definitely feel like this is a, a, a healing energy that is overcoming you now. Okay, where you're really moving out of the energy of um, betrayal and deception and despair. And all of the things that don't feel good here. You're focusing on your health mind, body, and spirit, but your mental health is the most important thing in this moment. So um, overall energy, you're going to be feeling content. You're going to be feeling clear. You're going to have more guidance. Um, spirit is, is definitely guiding you, but being generous and kind-hearted to yourself so that you can allow yourself to um, renew. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the Chariot. The Chariot is your energy. And then we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles. So this makes me feel like some sort of opportunity that's going to help you move on, okay? This could be a financial opportunity. This could be family helping you through whatever you have just experienced. And I feel like you're going to be overcoming this obstacle and it is going to be a success. We have the Star. Remember, I pulled the Stars. We have the Star as well as the Chariot, two major ar arcanas, which is saying I'm healing and moving on. So I feel like there's an energy of you healing from the past and moving on. And it's because you are building your confidence. You're building your strength within yourself. You are beginning to know your self-worth is what I'm feeling for you as well. Um, I feel like life is doing a 180 for some of you. And you're building. Some of you are building in a way that you've never built before where you don't have to rebuild because this is something new that you're building. I'm also feeling like this new um, it feels like a new era is what Spirit is saying, but this new energy of um, of just change and transformation that's coming up for you. I'm feeling some of you are living a life that you've never lived before, but I feel like you're happier. Like it feels like you finally had to come out of the trenches. You finally, you had to go through whatever you experienced in order to come out on the other side of that. So it feels like things are really looking good. The star and the chariot is beautiful energy here. Um so the, I'm looking at the star. The, the star is uh, connected to the number 17. Okay, this is the number 17, the 17th card on the deck, and that breaks down to an 8. And this energy is about a subtle strength. Okay, so that's what I feel is a strength that is definitely coming through for you where you're feeling whole and complete. You're persistent about life, but there's a lot of peace that's coming over you. And you guys are just in a flow. 
that's what I'm feeling. You're in the flow. And that chariot is saying like you're gaining strength and you're moving on um, for, for, um, from something. And this also ties into what I, what I said earlier. There may be some sort of financial opportunity that comes in, whether that is changing jobs, finding a job, um, or whatever this may be as far as coming into a financial opportunity. I definitely feel like it's going to push you forward. Okay, If you've been feeling stuck, know that you do not have to feel stuck anymore. The number eight is on your side. We are in a universal eight year, which means this is a year of manifesting abundance. This is a year of wealth. Okay, this is a year of being in the flow of things. So it is your time, Cancer. Okay, an obstacle that may come up for you during this month is the eight of Pentacles. All right, so um, this energy here. So we have uh, Virgo energy could even show up as um, the other two earth signs as well, Capricorn, Taurus. But I feel like um, some of you have lost your aspirations for life. And I feel like some of you are in this position where you're feeling like you have to start over. And, and it's, I, I want to laugh a little bit, but I, because spirit, when spirit flows through me, everything is kind of funny and giggly to me. Um, just because it's just light energy flowing through me. But it feels like, it feels like this energy of like, um, I, I don't want to be told what to do. I want to I want to <laughs> do something on my own. I want to master something. OK, that's what I'm feeling like. I want to master something. I want to be my own boss, whatever this is. So this is an opportunity for you to create and um, to become an entrepreneur entrepreneur. But I feel like some of you are stuck because you may have lost your aspirations. Some of you probably just needed to go back to work at some point just to take care of things because Whoever you were with or whatever you were doing was preventing you uh, from really moving and forward, moving forward and stepping into your truth. So I definitely feel like this is a phase for you to master something, but it also feels like you're starting over in some way. But I do feel like you have the knowledge and the education to, to, to move forward because whatever you've been through cancer, it was a lesson and you learned a lot during that. So, you, you know, you can throw that into your bag as well, although it may have been challenging for some of you this this was a lesson okay and that lesson it, it's going to take you to this next level and whatever it is that you're trying to pursue right because sometimes we think oh we veered off the path and things aren't looking good and I have to do this but you're learning lessons okay you're learning lessons so it's not going to always show up the way that you want and this again number eight eight number eight seems very prevalent in your reading already um <clears throat> This, that number of stability and prosperity that is coming up for you guys as well. So uh, I'm hearing to keep working on something, keep working at whatever it is that you've been focused on, whether that is you working on yourself. Um, it does not matter whatever that your wherever your attention has been um, turned to, turned toward. Keep working on that because it definitely is going to manifest for you in some way. Okay. So we have the Page of Wands and we also have the Four of Wands. So um, I feel like some of you may be um, a bit reluctant to um, move forward. Okay, I know you're moving forward, but there's also a level of comfort that may come up that get that brings on a hesitation of, is this the right thing that I should be doing? Or I don't know all the steps. I don't know how. And it feels uncomfortable. So I'm going to stay in this energy. And spirit is nudging you to move forward. Okay. To build a new foundation for you and your family. Okay. So some of you may be having a hard time doing that because you're unclear about which direction you should move on, move in. Okay. This is why spirit is wanting you to find alignment and balance and really tune into yourself and do things for you that are going to make you happy. Because when you increase your vibration, your frequency, that is when things begin to unfold for you. Okay. So focus on that. The most important thing is focusing on yourself. And for some of you that may feel like an obstacle because you have been in a position of always taking care of other people. So, um, it's, it's a challenge for some of you and some of you it's not going to be, okay, because you have been through enough and you're finally at this position, this phase where you're like, I'm going to take care of me. I don't need anyone to tell me that I have to focus on myself, okay, and kudos to you for that, okay. Where you're headed is the Ten of Pentacles. 
So I like how that is a natural progression from the 8 to the 10. So whatever you have been working on and you're feeling a little hesitation or a little, maybe even a little stuck energy um, that's coming up, I'm hearing to not force anything. But I do feel like you, it's almost like you mix, miss one step and move to the next step, which is you getting money. So whatever idea that some of you have had around something, this could definitely be, you can, it, you could definitely... This is a lucrative opportunity for you if we're talking about money, if you talk, we're talking about leveling up in some sort of way, okay? And I do feel like you have support fam of family and friends, but this is an opportunity for you to level up material-wise, um, and success keeps coming up like that chariot card that was here as well. But this is lasting wealth and prosperity for you um, and creating a, a, fi a, a stable family fi foundation, financial security for you and your family. But it's all about foundations, just like this four of um, the four of wands that I pulled here when I said setting a foundation is the most important thing. And some of you have had to start over or you're going to be starting over. So it feels like a task. Keep going is what spirit is saying. You do have support, whether that is one person that is helping you or that is your tribe. OK, it does not matter. OK, but the number 10 is synonymous with um, with success. Um, with beginnings and endings and growing and even repetition. So this makes me feel if you keep working at something, it's going to pay off for you is where you're headed. Let's clarify this 10 of Pentacles for you. All right, we have the Ace of Cups and then we have the Nine of Swords coming up for you. So there's opportunity for love or new relationship, something new to come into your life. And I'm feeling like with this nine of swords here, some of you feel like you're not worthy of it. Like it's like something is stressful to you. Some, And this could be newfound wealth that some of you may come be coming into. And it feels like a lot because, you know, we're in a world right now where we don't really have a middle class. You either are in poverty or you're rich, right? And so for some of you, if you're moving from poverty in straight into rich like you have there's a whole mindset that comes around being rich and staying rich right but i do feel like there's an overflow of something that comes in and it's going to make you happy but it also stresses you in some sort of way not sure why it stresses you but you know you know your own story for some of you this is revolved around money and some of you it's revolved around love so if you haven't had money and you get money it's fun and, and but there's more that there's more problems and other things that come with money okay if you haven't had love and now you're receiving love in a way that you have really been wanting it could seem overwhelming or maybe even too good to be true for some of you different things are coming up for what i'm feeling right now so like i said revolved around money or a relationship in general okay but i definitely feel like you have support so there's no need for you to constantly be in your head remember Revert back to the energy of taking care of yourself. Self-love and self-care is going to keep you in a place of vibrating high so that beautiful things can unfold the way that they're supposed to, okay? Because there's going to be an overflow of things coming into your life, an overflow of money, an overflow of love. It's going to be either or, and for some of you, it's going to be both. And I feel like it's because you deserve it. You've been waiting on it. You've been working for it. And the universe is offering that to you. So that's where you're headed. What's coming towards you is the Knight of Wands. Okay. And this could be a person could be coming towards you. Or this could be an emotion of just like uh, intensity. But that Knight of Wands is definitely uh, a fire energy that is definitely coming towards you. It could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who may be the opposite of who you are, someone who's extroverted, super enthusiastic, because we know cancer, you're very chill and laid back, but I feel like they balance you out in some sort of way, okay? And this could just be a creative idea that you're sparked with in as well. This could just be newfound energy that some of you are opening up to that feels rather intense, but it feels, um, it feels, it feels like you're in the flow. And you're not stopping yourself from being. You're not stopping yourself from being gentle with yourself and loving you to, to fulfilling your desires. I'm going to pull some cards around this. But um, this, you know, if you're feeling challenged, I feel like you can I feel like you can muster up some energy from whatever this is, that that intense energy of just like your passions are most important to um, really just 
let yourself just be in this energy, okay? Whether it feels competitive or it feels unfamiliar, I feel like this, I'm hearing like go for it. So if this is a person, an opportunity, whatever this is that's coming towards you is definitely a go for it, okay? And I'm looking at how the ten, how the Knight of Wands here is running towards the Ten of Pentacles, running towards a financial opportunities. Cause it, so this could be a partnership or this could be something revolved around money for some of you, like I've said. Why is this Knight of Wands here? I do feel like some of you are going to be sparked with a level of creativity as well. But you're going to be growing and glowing in ways that you never dreamt of. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords coming out. And we have the Death card of what's coming towards you. It, I, I almost feel like a rebellious energy that I feel like... It, it's kind of like the scenario of, you know, everyone in your family or doctors or everyone in your family went into the military and you're supposed to be doing the same thing and you're deciding I'm going to run the opposite direction. So, so for me, it feels like you're really owning what is true to you, Cancer, and you're going with that. Okay, so I feel like it's like a rebellious energy and then some of you are ending a cycle to something you're ending something that was familiar in the past you're letting that go and you're opening yourself up you're turning your back to it and opening up to something that's big for you and for some of you that may even like I said money love and now I'm even feeling spirituality when it comes to the, the death card energy because that is about transformation so you're leaving behind things that are old and you know outdated for you and you're moving into your new sunshine, your new light, okay? You're letting your light shine. And it's not even a new light. You've already had this light within you, but it has been dimmed from, from by someone or by circumstances. It was dimmed, and now that light is shining. So that's what's coming towards you, and it's going to feel intense for some of you. Um, but Spirit is saying to go with it, okay? That's what I'm hearing, to go with it. We have the justice card that's showing up for you in your very near future. Okay, so I'm going to pull some clarifiers around that and see what's coming up. But this feels like, uh, you know, new opportunities that could be opening up to you, like good karma, like your karma finally coming back around. But Spirit is asking you not to jump into conclusions about anything. Okay, so this is definitely a number 11. is a very spiritual number. And um, like I said, you're, I feel like you're going to be you're going to be exploring different avenues uh, of yourself. Three of three of wands and then the page of swords here. So something that you have been it has been long awaited is what I'm hearing spirit say has been long awaited is definitely coming to you. So whether that is some sort of justice, that is some sort of fairness. You know, I feel like whatever you've been going through, whatever you have been through as a child or just as an adult in your relationships, like I feel like the, the pages, the wheels are turning for you. And I feel like whatever you have been working towards or wanting is going to be manifesting for you. And I feel like a free spirit coming from the page of swords energy here where you're free to come and go as you please. You're free to speak. OK, some of you have uh, shut down your expression whether that it was um, due to control of another person or you just not wanting to express yourself or you're not knowing how or you didn't know how to express yourself. But I definitely feel with that page of swords that there's a new expression that you're going to be coming into. Okay, and I feel like some of you were just waiting for something. Not sure what you were waiting for, but I, I definitely feel like you were, you know, really waiting to just become, step into your own and, and speak your truth, especially for those of you that are rebelling and, and transforming and ending something. It just feels like a new energy that I'm feeling that you had been waiting for and that energy is coming to you, is coming for you, okay? Your advice is the strength card and I feel like we pulled quite a few major arcanas here so that lets me know that some of you are going through some major life changes the stars hit one, two, three, four, and I know we had the death, the chariot, um, 
So like six, maybe like six or seven, and who knows what else is going to come out for you. But your advice is the strength card, okay? And this is reminding you here, Cancer, to be kind to yourself, to be compassionate to yourself and others as well. To not be, um, um, not be fearful is what I'm feeling. And I'm looking at this, right? The number eight is coming up for you again. So several eights that we have already talked about. One, two three eights here, um, even the number six, two, two, two. And then we also had um, the number six somewhere else I just saw, I thought. But anyway, that that number of um, compassion and love and, you know, being gentle is what I'm feeling, but also a level of creativity coming through for you as well. But the number eight is very, very important. So if you guys have been seeing the number eight, that is, I'm going to take this because Magician is coming out. So there's our other major arcana. So that's like six, seven, or eight. Um, so we have the Magician and the Queen of Wands. I like this energy because you guys have been embodying a lot of fiery energy, which lets me know a lot of passion and a lot of zest for life. Like you feel vibrant again, okay? You have been in this, some of you have been in that darkness, and now it's like, the light is finally shining on you and it's not even just the light shining on you like your inner light is beaming outwardly okay so you're feeling different you're feeling like you can manifest here look infinity sign that would be the number eight correct so more eights here so this this year 2024 as i said we're in a universal eight year also if you believe in numerology you can check your personal um, your personal year as well, you would just take your month and your day of your birthday and add it up to the this current year to see which number you're in. So I'm always a double, so I'm a universal eight and a personal eight. So it's a universal eight and I'm also a personal eight. So I always magnet, it's magnified for me. So you can find that out um, by doing your numerology chart. But I definitely feel a lot of abundance that is coming up for you guys. Manifesting a lot of things that you have been always wanting. And it feels like you needed to learn the lessons and let go of things, let go of people in order to get to that next level. Okay, so I definitely feel like you guys are going to be finding a new strength and happiness within yourself to start start something new with someone or whatever the case may be starting to starting a business or you know growing your money in some sort of way but it feels like a new phase for you okay some of you can be manifesting becoming a mother maybe even a pet mom or dad it doesn't matter um, but there is a lot of growth around here and understand that you do have a lot of protection around you as well if some of you are feeling fearful or not sure which direction to go in turn to prayer to meditation whatever it is that you believe in whatever higher being or energy you believe in to really help you create or take the steps to step into the courage to take the steps to um, to really manifest what you want for your life, okay? I do feel like the Queen of Wands, you're embodying, you're stepping into that queen-like energy where you're able to sort of sit back, relax, and, you know, just see the fruits of your labor growing and knowing that you're nurturing yourself, you're nurturing the other people around you, you're really tapping into your creativity and an, that artistic uh, flair that you might have really embrace it is what I'm hearing okay so that's your advice and your final outcome is the tower which I did not want to see but this could also be a good thing for some of you stepping into a phase of transformation and some of you are needing a little bit of a push and sometimes the universe will push and it's not the most comfortable push but at the end of the day it's a push to to get you to this next level so the cop the tower card is uh, an energy of chaos and surrender and sudden changes um, could even be like evictions or moving out, relocating in some sort of abrupt way. Again, sudden change. Okay, so not to fear what whatever sudden change is. Could even be selfish energy as well. Um, but again, like I said, spiritual growth. We have, look at this. How are we ending with the Seven of Swords too? We started with the Seven of Swords. So it makes me feel like something, something tries to come back around. The Knight of Cups here. Someone is trying to be very strategic. They're trying to come back in and get and get into your good graces. And I don't like that energy because I feel like it's the seven of swords 
is manipulative. Okay, so just use your discernment is what I'm hearing, what Spirit is saying, and, and, and knowing what's best for you because you can find yourself, and some of you may even need to have really go through this tower moment with this person, okay? I don't know how that's going to look for you, but violence is not the key, okay? <laughs> so keep that in mind, but it, you may have to talk about something. Things may get heated. Things may, be, may come crumbling down. There was a lot of love between you and someone, but I definitely feel like there's there needs to be a, a separation, okay? Because I'm looking at how this person is sneaky. This is your energy here with the Knight of Cups. You're walking away from that. You're going to offer your cup to someone else because you already know what this person is about. And good for you because you use your discernment. And for some of you have already been through many things. It's been a pattern with you and other people that you have been seeing within yourself. So you have to let that go. Okay, so the final outcome is like it could feel a little bit turbulent for some of you internally or in your environment. However, that's going to show up for you, but know that you are doing the best thing for you, okay? Because there's been a lot of betrayal, but at the end of the day, this is a number 10. You're going to be starting anew, coming out of that, okay? Although I'm feeling like this is walking towards that, but I feel like it's because you've already been through so much with someone or just been through so much in life where you have felt debilitated. You you felt like you've been caged in. You felt like you like physically debilitated. But at the at the end of this, the sun is, is going to be shining. The clouds are parting. The sky is going to eventually become all yellow and it's, the light's going to be shining. Your light's going to be shining as well. Okay, so that's what's coming up for you. Take some time apart. Four of swords. Okay, remember we talked about a break. Time apart will be beneficial to a connection. And that could, again, be an emotion or a person. So that is your reading, Cancer. If you enjoyed any part of this or any part of this resonates with you, leave us a comment below in the description in the comment box. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this video, share with your family and your friends. Enjoy your month. And I hope everything works out and you find your peace and your light and your money. Okay? Love you guys. Take care. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Peace.